What's up everybody, it's Sean here, and today's video is gonna be a little bit different. So today we'll be taking a closer look at the Soul Savvy collaboration with Garrickson Studios on the SS1. Soul Savvy at its core is a membership program that helps its members obtain sneakers for retail prices. So in a landscape that's dominated by bots, oftentimes the everyday consumer pretty much has zero chance in getting the shoes that they want online. So Soul Savvy is trying to be the answer to that. With a membership base of over 1,500 people, they provide the community, the tools, the information, and all that good stuff to hit on those shoes that you so desperately want. So I wanna clarify, this is not a paid advertisement and everything I'm saying in this video is coming strictly from me, but I've personally been a Soul Savvy member for a while now, and I can personally attest to the benefits that it provides me, allowing me to cop a lot of the shoes that I review on this channel. So anyways, turning our attention to these shoes, this again was a joint collaboration with Garrickson Studios, and this sneaker dubbed the SS1 was designed by the Soul Savvy community, handcrafted by Garrickson Studios, and limited to 325 individually numbered pairs sold only to members. The idea of this shoe started back in May, and the pairs sold to members were offered up at cost, which was somewhere around 700 US dollars. I know this might seem like a ton of money, and of course it's definitely not cheap, but again, these are handcrafted shoes, which oftentimes, if you compare it to a similar shoe constructed by the shoe surgeon, can fetch thousands and thousands of dollars. So when you look at it from that lens, and add to the fact that the midsole and the outsole, this is taken directly from Air Jordan 1 Lowe's, and then you layer on the labor cost, the cost of materials for the upper. It's honestly really not bad at all. So first things first, here's a look at the box. This comes in a green box, which matches the colorway of the shoe. We have the Soul Savvy logo at the very top. On this side, it says SS1 Custom, one of 325 pairs, and my size, size 10. On the side of the lid, it states members only, referencing the fact that these shoes are only available to members. And then on the other side of the box, we have the Garrickson logo. As for the shoes, taking a closer look at the toe box, this is constructed using this off-white or cream-colored pebbled leather, and we have the perforations found throughout, which is common across all your Air Jordan 1s. The quality of this leather, being completely honest with you guys, is absolutely ridiculous. This is some of the best quality materials I've seen on the sneaker, and it's just one of those things where you have to get it in hand to know what I'm talking about. Wrapping around the front toe box, this is covered in this tumbled dark gray colored leather. And on the lateral side, we have this gold swoosh, which is a nod to the Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan 1. This gray leather runs up the center of the shoe where the eyelets are as well. And then below this, we have more of that sail or cream colored leather. One of the most unique aspects about this shoe is the swoosh. So you can see the swoosh on this pair is split down the middle. And this is something I don't think I've ever seen before. The front of the swoosh is constructed using this premium green colored suede, and the back half of the swoosh is constructed out of that same gray leather that we saw on the front toe cap. Inspired by the look of the Union Jordan 1s, you'll see that this pair incorporates a similar contrast stitching, which joins the bottom half of the shoe with the top. So in this case, you'll see that the stitching is done in this gold color. Above this, we have the collar wings, which is constructed out of a premium gray colored suede. We have the Air Jordan Wings logo debossed on the lateral side only, and underneath this, we have this yellow tag, which has the word family on one side and established in 2018 on the other. Similar to the Rookie of the Year Jordan 1s, the side wings or side flaps are detached from the body of the shoe. So if I peel these back, you'll see that the upper collar of the sneaker, this is constructed out of that same gray premium leather. And as you can see here, it has a very premium tumbled look to it. Wrapping around the bottom of the back heel, we have more of that green colored suede. And then inspired by the Fragment Air Jordan 1, we have the Soul Savvy logo embossed on the lateral side. For the laces, again, these kind of are inspired by the Union Jordan 1s. Here we have these two-tone laces. So the bottom half is done in white, and the top half is done in this gray color. Underneath this, instead of your traditional nylon tongue, for these guys, we have a full leather tongue. So the bottom half is constructed out of that cream colored leather. We have this contrast yellow stitching connecting the two halves, and then the top half is done in gray. Finishing this all off, we have a leather tag at the very top, and we have Soul Savvy with the Nike swoosh printed on the outside. The interior of the tongue has a very nice luxurious feel to it. It's also leather lined, and then the back of the tag has a Soul Savvy logo, along with each shoe's respective individual number. So for my case, I got pair number 40 out of 325. The inner collar of the shoe is lined in a very plush, very soft, luxurious gold colored leather. This is probably my favorite leather on the entire shoe. For some reason, it just felt really, really premium in hand. And this collar area is also very well padded as well to give you that extra comfort. Instead of your traditional Jordan 1 insoles, they've swapped them out for these Upmatic insoles, which in simple terms is very similar to Adidas Boost technology. This gives you added comfort as well, especially considering the fact that the Jordan 1 usually isn't the most comfortable sneaker on the market. 
so the upper of these SS1s sits atop the midsole and outsole of your pine green Jordan 1 lows. So the midsole is left in white, and then flipping the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your classic Jordan 1 outsole. This is entirely done in this pine green colored rubber. We have a circular traction pattern on the forefoot and Nike branding in the center. Sizing wise, I got these in my true size, size 10, and to me, they fit me perfectly true to size. If you're unsure about how a Jordan 1 fits, you can check out feetlot.com, so that's F-E-E-T-L-O-T.com, and on the app, you'll be able to input sizes of shoes you already own, and then from that data, they'll turn out a size recommendation for the shoe that you're looking to get. As for this pair though, so again, true to size was good, and if I'm nitpicking at all, I feel like they run a little bit more generous than your traditional Jordan 1. I think partially because the materials on this shoe are just so soft and so forgiving, it gives you just a little bit extra leeway in terms of space. But again, if you're given the opportunity to grab a pair of these, I'd stick true to size. Comfort wise, so again, the upper was really, really soft, no break in time required. Straight out of the box, it felt like I've been wearing these for months. And to add to that, the upmatic insole that they provided gave the shoe a ton of comfort as well. So it's great that Garrickson and Soul Savvy considered not only premium materials on the outside, but also increased comfort as well, which is never a bad thing. With all that out of the way, let's lace up these Soul Savvy SS1s and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. For me, it's been crazy to see these shoes come to life throughout the past few months. What just started as an idea eventually became something I'm holding in my hand, and it shows you the level of quality that a sneaker can really, really have, especially when you compare it to mass-produced Air Jordan 1s on the market. It's honestly night and day, but at the same time, you're really comparing apples and oranges. This being a very limited 325 pair run, you can't really compare it to a shoe that's mass produced in the hundreds of thousands. Still, I feel very honored and very privileged to have this pair in my collection. And I'm very excited to see what the future holds with potentially the SS2, SS3, and all the future custom models that Soul Savvy decides to do. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Soul Savvy and Garrickson Studio SS1. What are your thoughts about custom sneakers in general? I'm not talking about unauthorized or fake sneakers. I'm more so talking about custom sneakers that take a base, for example, from an authentic shoe and then recreate the upper base off of custom specifications. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8. Check out my Twitter account at sean.go and visit my website at seangoca Thanks so much for tuning in. Another huge thank you goes out to Soul Savvy. And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in my next video.